guys, it's Danny, and in honor of Halloween, I decided that I would do 31 things that I am scared of, because I'm clever, and I thought that that would be a cool thing to do. And because I'm also afraid of a lot of things, and I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to get it all out on video of what I'm afraid of, because Danny's a scaredy cat. So I guess we will just get started. So the first one that comes to mind when someone's like, what are you afraid of? I automatically say bees and I'm just so deathly afraid of bees like if someone like even says oh my god there's a bee I will literally start crying So the next one is really bad because it's actually causing me to not get my license and that is me being afraid to drive on the freeway I'm so afraid of the freeway I don't know why but I'm so scared of it I just can't do it I need to though because I need my license I'm like kind of afraid to walk alone like anywhere I have to be with someone but I was almost kidnapped with my friend and ever since then I literally cannot be anywhere alone I just get so scared just like thinking of the fact that people do get kidnapped freaks me out and it just scares me like so another thing that kind of freaks me out is if I accidentally eat something with like a peanut or a trina in it because I'm actually like deathly allergic to peanuts and like any type of nut so I'm just like so scared that one day I'm just going to eat something with a nut in it and I'm going to have a really bad allergic reaction and then bye bye Danny. So something that I won't do is like swim in big like areas of water like a lake or an ocean. I'm really afraid that I'm going to drown or I'm going to get sucked up by like or pulled down by seaweed or I'm going to get caught. I'm also afraid of drowning because I'm not a very strong swimmer. Another thing that I'm also afraid of is Flying over areas of water, it just makes me really, really nervous. I'm also afraid of plane crashes. So another thing that I'm also scared of is hanging my feet off the bed. Because if you guys saw Paranormal Activity, there's one part where the girl's like hanging her feet off the bed and then the guy like yanks her feet and then she like goes down the hall, down the stairs, does all that crappy things. And I don't know, it just scares me. So this one might seem funny to some people, but I'm kind of scared to try a strawberry. I've never eaten a strawberry in my whole entire life, and it just kind of freaks me out. I can't get myself to eat one, but I just will not try a strawberry. So I'm actually also really afraid of getting robbed while you're inside the house, and you don't know if they have a gun or a knife or if they're gonna kill you, like rob everything, and then shoot you in the end, so you can't really say anything, who knows. I don't know if you guys are afraid of these, but I'm afraid of semis. I literally like try to like pull the door in because I'm scared. They're just so much bigger than you. So one thing that I am literally so scared of, and it kind of just terrifies me, is reading aloud in class. I am dyslexic, and so I'm not very good at reading. And it just, like literally, that's one of my worst fears. So something that I also won't do is go inside haunted houses, because haunted houses freak me out. I do not like scary things, because I'm such a scaredy cat. But I don't like haunted houses, and uh, I will tell you the story. I actually went with my brother and his friend and then I went with two of my friends and I was in the back. And so basically we put the two little kids in front which was my brother and his friend and it was so terrible because they were so terrified. His friend like started freaking out and crying and he would not go further. And I was in one probably one of the scariest part of the haunted house and this guy was like scratching me and we were not moving. This guy was literally like breathing on my neck and like saying really creepy things. And he was literally like trying to push us out but like trying to make me scared so I would move. And I like literally had to turn around and I started yelling at him and like bitching at him. I him to show me where the exit was because these kids were not going to move. And the whole entire haunted house sign was like totally getting held back and he was just like, you're not going anywhere. And I was like, you better shut the F up because these kids are not moving. You better show me where the F and exit is. It was so bad. Finally, the guy listened because remember, you do not mess with Danny. If she gets pissed, you don't mess with me. You can literally ask any of my friends. Whenever they are with me, like older people creep on me. I don't know why that is. It literally freaks me out. I hate older men, especially the creepy ones. It's gross. Like, I am only 17. I don't know why people think I'm 30 or in my late 20s or even early 20s, but I'm 17. I'm a minor, so older men, creep me out, leave me alone. 
I ever get like a slip from like the office from school, I get super nervous because I don't want to go to the principal's office and I get like really nervous. One thing that just kind of grosses me out and does really freak me out, it's like when people are on crack, like literally on like freaking cocaine or heroin or whatever, and you can totally tell that they're totally cracked out. And they're just like shaking or whatever, just looking like a complete like drug addict. It's really scary and it's gross and I just don't like it. It's just, it's not healthy either. Dentist. I've had a lot of cavities and fillings suck. I hate it. They put like all this stuff in your mouth. Thing that I don't like is when there's like those people that stand on the corners that like say that they're homeless. They scare me because they literally come up to your car and they like have their sign up and they're just like staring at you and they want you to give them money but really they're not homeless they really just want money for drugs. I actually had one that I was in the car and the guy literally came up to my car and he had like his cardboard thing and he took out a pen and started writing down my license plate. I was like, oh my god, this guy's gonna come kill me. Another thing, it's not really something that I'm scared of. It just kind of grosses me out and that's like fish or the smell of fish. I was literally in the grocery store the other day and I was in like where the fish was and I literally was gagging. I was like, oh, this smells so bad. So something that actually does really frighten me and scare me is death. Just dying in general or people dying around me that are really close to, that just scares me because I feel like I can't like live without them and I don't know, I just don't like dying. I just don't like it. And also moving away from home kind of scares me a little bit because I am a senior in high school so I don't know, it just kind of scares me that in a few months I'm going to be going off to college, I'm not going to be living here anymore with my family and then I'm going to start my own family and it's like what the heck life is going way too fast. I'm actually also kind of afraid to go to school. I don't know why I'm afraid to go to school but I think I just had a really bad experience my junior year. I'm overall just scared of being made fun of. I hate it because basically ever since kindergarten I've always been made fun of but I've also kind of joked around with people so people kind of thought it was okay to make fun of me but really I'm a very sensitive child and I don't know. So I also really hate hospitals. I gotta go to the hospital, but I don't like the hospital. I also absolutely hate getting my blood drawn. I hate it. The last time I got my blood drawn was when I was in fifth grade and I literally did not want to get my blood drawn. I hid under a table and the doctor had to drag me by my feet, kind of like in paranormal activity, to the chair. They had to strap me down and do, get, draw my blood. It was a traumatizing experience because no doctor should drag a kid and it just wasn't fun. I'm also kind of freaked out about like having a baby because we all know that girls have to have babies. Well, you don't have to if you don't want to because I don't know about you, but that shit looks very painful. So I don't know if this happens to you, but say I wake up in the middle of the night and I have to go to the bathroom and it's dark and you can't see anything and for some reason, when you, like when it's dark, I feel like there's someone in my house watching me. So I will literally go to my bed, bolt like to the light, turn it on, go to the bathroom, and then I'll turn off the light and like hop on my bed because I don't want someone to like grab me from behind or something. Also hate, 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 hate scary movies. I don't like scary movies. Brings me to my last, number 31 is mirrors. Mirrors don't scare me, but it's like, in the middle of the night, I feel like if I look into the mirror, there's going to be a person like standing behind me, like a face in the mirror, and I'm going to like scream, and then they're going to take off the knife and like cut my throat or something. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of things that I'm afraid of or scared of, um, kind of in honor of Halloween 31, you know, so clever. And so if you guys are afraid of any of these things, make sure to thumbs up this video and kind of tell me what you guys are afraid of or what you guys are going to be for Halloween, whatever. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Danny Official and subscribe wherever the button is. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!